Standing room only. Here we go, six rounds of international boxing at catch weights. Except for that guy. Introducing first in the blue corner, two-time state champion, Blake Caparello, joins his coach from Greenvale, Sam Labruna, as they welcome the center ring from Auckland, New Zealand. A member of a great fighting family of boxers, kickboxers. This young man works as a scaffolder by occupation. 23 years of age, previously fought in Australia. Joel Casey, Blake Caparello and Nick Themalakis. Seven uh, professional fights, two wins, five losses, one coming inside the distance. At 81.70 kilograms, black trunks with white trim, Collingwood name pie colours. Would you welcome back New Zealand's Joshua Ty? And across the ring on my left, with Team Themalakis joining our promoter, manager, coach. Charlie, the chairman, Liberata, from Glenroy via the Cameroon, the beautiful African country. Working out at Doty's Gym, 45, Western Street, Brunswick. 27 years young, ranked by World of Boxing number three in Australia. The reigning Victorian super middleweight champion. Nine fights, eight wins, six by knockout. At 78.50 kilograms, also wearing the black trucks, when you welcome Melbourne's Serge Yandy. After the night with Susie Q. Ramadan in a points decision, and to this bout promises to be an absolute slobber knocker. Serge Yannick in the black trunks, Joshua Tyne the black trunks with grey trim, and Serge Yannick is all business here early in the first round. Big power in both hands, aggressive boxer. We're lucky enough, Serge came to Australia as part of the 2006 Commonwealth Games as part of the Cameroo team. And here he is now with a eight and one professional record moving against Kiwi from Auckland, Joshua Tai. Uh, Joshua Tai, 23 years of age, he's had seven fights and uh, he's had uh, a record of two and five. Two and he's, five. Been, he's been stopped, stopped twice, twice, but he, he had a majority points win in his last outing against Gunnar Jackson in New Zealand. And he's had some good brave losses to Blake Caparello and Joel Casey. He's fought some of the best in Australia. Right, and Blake right. Caparello and Sam Labruna right, in the right, corner right, tonight of Josh Ty, former opponent, doing his bit. And uh, uh, Joshua Ty, uh, you're describing as a mauling type of fighter, but he's got a big right hand. And he's looking to land that on Serge Yannick's jaw. And Serge Yannick showed great power in his last outing against uh, William Hadlow. In July, stopped him in the sixth round. And if he wins tonight, he's got a big work, fight against Fiji, work, Ghani, sorry. and Joseph Quadjo on October 1. So there's a lot to fight for here in the first round as both boxers feeling each other out. Serge getting a better of things with a good lightning jab and excellent body shot there to Joshua Ty, who's on the back pedal already. And best he doesn't get caught on the ropes tonight. He should be looking to get in there tight, rough Serge up a bit, and not let Serge get his distance and his rage get the distance right or control the distance. Right, so it's just right. knockout power, Troy, we've right. seen it before. We have seen it before, and, uh, and Yannick, boy, once he gets that right hand, uh, once he gets that cocked, it's a uh, good night nurse. And he's had a, Yannick had a great amateur record of 55 and 10. So he's a true pedigree boxer making his way in the professional world under the tutelage of Charlie Liparotta and Doherty's gym. Compact, moving forward. Big title shot against Michael Bolling didn't come off, but it was the fight of the year in 2009 for many. And uh, he wants to go back and get that title off Michael Bolling at some stage in his development. Big left hook there. They call, don't call him the African Tyson for nothing. He's got a KO percentage rate of 66%. He's had six knockouts as he moves forward. Work. Strong big uppercuts. He's got the full um, barrage of punches. He's and got the, a tremendous the, arsenal, hasn't he, Sir Janik? He's got a great arsenal. And Josh Ty looking to keep him off. He's got good fundamentals. Nice left hand there. Left, left hand uppercut there by Sir Janik. Found the mark. And Josh Ty's from the Fighting Ty family, five, six brothers and sisters who all fight. His, his, his right hand is his big punch, but it's all Yannick here in the third round as Yannick's throwing some ferocious overhands right and as he, as he gets his left going. Really dictating oh, terms, Yannick at the moment. Wait, stop, stop. And imposing himself back, longer, back, harder and faster than Joshua Ty here in the first round. Time. Time. Cruiserweight action between wait, wait. Serge Yannick and Joshua Jim. Ty off New Zealand. Jim. All Yannick in the first round, Troy. And uh, the, right. the uh, odds are absolutely amazing for this fight, Patrick. A dollar five, Serge Yannick's paying eight dollars, Josh Ty, if you like a bit of value.
but it looks like the bookmakers have done their homework because it's all surgiatic here at the start of round two. But you've got to love the Thai family, their game. And I like what Josh Ty is doing here. He's yeah. rough, roughing him up, right. getting in tight. He's mauling and brawling, oh, and uh, you feel that uh, that's that's his most effective weapon at jo the moment. And Josh Ty has been a kickboxer as well, and he knows that Serge can finish this with, mon with one punch. So the trick to fighting the inside, smother your opponent and take away Serge's leverage. Oh, big left hand landed there by Serge Yannick. He's looking in fine nick tonight. And he's looking, oh, he's that looking left again. Hand rocked, uh, that uh, definitely rocked Ty. Stunned Ty there. And uh, Serge is getting through here. And that's the left hook that a lot of people in super middle light heavy. And now Cruiserweight are starting to fear in Australia. The, they don't call him the African Tyson for no reason. Power in both hands and learning his craft, doing his apprenticeship here in Australia since turning pro in 07. And what an impressive pro debut it was there against Wayne Parker Jr. on the mundane undercut. Goes to the body again of Ty and connects. And you get that feeling it's going to be a matter of time before Serge lands one of his big bombs. Yeah, just stalking Josh Ty at the moment. Oh, no. Ty lands an excellent overhand right there. And that's what Serge has got to watch. Ty can punch. And he's going to have to do a bit more of that Ty to hold Serge off. Because Serge is having the majority of action go his way here in the second round. Yeah, he's uh, displaying his counter-punching qualities at the moment, Josh Ty, the Aucklander. He's still got a plan, he's moving to his left, he's trying to nullify the punches. Best if he doesn't get caught in the ropes, and that's uh, not the worst tactic you can concoct at this hour. He was literally caught on the ropes there. Serge Yannick taking a uh, well-earned risk there. Referee Brett McCormick giving Joshua Ty his first warning. He doesn't want that to occur again, or he's going to take a point. And Josh Ty, the, those body punches now starting to take their toll as he moved backwards. He's not moving forward anymore. Trying to get his rhythm and get that jab going and get inside and somehow rough, rough surge up and get him off his game plan. Because once he comes in at distance and starts yeah. landing at will, it looks like it will only be a matter of time. Great body shot there by Serge. But Ty, very game, moving back, landing three or four punches on the gloves of Serge. He sets it up beautifully, doesn't he, Serge Yannick? With the jab, then he goes downstairs with those vicious rips. Really, uh, it's really in Ty's interest here to be start. I'd be holding on like a lonely octopus if I was Ty. A lonely octopus, and there's nothing lonelier than a lonely octopus, ladies and gentlemen. As Josh Ty uses some counter punches there, but uh, Yannick, again, down to the bread basket of Josh Ty. And he's got, a, he's got just too, too much natural boxing ability here for Ty. Wow. And you add the power to that. Those again, lips. it looks like it's oh, a matter of time. But Ty's on his feet. He's brave. But that's all Yannick again for round two.